What's up guys, it's Sammy Cheese here, back with another video, and now in today's video, I thought I would update this video. How to play scratch games on your mobile device, because this video is actually very outdated. So, for this old method, you would actually need to download an external browser, but now you don't need to. So, I'll be showing you guys how to do the new updated method right now. Before I start the video, I want to say only a small percentage of my subscribers are subscribed. I'll put the image on the screen right now, so if you could subscribe, that would help a lot. Also, I just launched a new Instagram account with no followers, so if you could follow it, that would be amazing. All right, first thing you wanna do is to make sure that you have a mobile-friendly project. So, actually, there's a bunch of these, so if you actually look up it in the search, so if I look up mobile-friendly, then there's actually a lot of projects. You see all of these right here. So, mobile-friendly is where there's no keyboard or mouse involved, and it's only touching the screen. So, as you can see, there's a bunch of games, and if you're wondering how you make one, as you can see, there's no press Q, W, E, any of these mouse things or anything. Because as you can see, mobile, you have no other buttons other than your home, power, volume buttons, and your screen to tap. So as you can see, it works on computer too, it's just meant for mobile. So I'll do a quick tutorial on how to do this. If you want to know just how to get the mobile version of Scratch, then just skip ahead a little bit. I'll put a timestamp in the video description. Just go check that right now. Now, like we did in my old video, I was saying how to make a simple touch mobile game. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna have no keyboard or mouse involved. So you wanna make sure you know there's nothing really big. So the only thing a mobile user can do is click and drag. So you could set up a game where you do a dress up where there's clothes that here and drag it on here. If you want me to make a mobile version of that game, I can also make a bunch of tutorials on computer and mobile friendly games, so just let me know down in the comments below. Alright, so for now we'll just do the simplest version of a mobile game that I can do. So I think I'll do choose a sprite, and I'm going to look for an arrow. So if I type that into the search here, as you can see. Now one thing I really recommend since a mobile user has a pretty small screen and they can't click exactly on the arrow, and even if you're on keyboard or mouse, zoom out a little bit. Choose a square, make it your background color with no stroke, and go over it. And now once you have successfully gone over it, move it. Press Control C on your keyboard to copy the arrow. Go back to the middle and paste it again. So now it is on top, bring it to the middle. And as you can see, now we have a covered, fully working arrow. So if the mobile user was to tap right here, it would still work. So now you can just copy and rotate it and I'll just speed that part up right now. As you can see, I quickly did that and now all of them are done. So now let's get to the actual code. Now since you have all your costumes ready in this one arrow file, you actually need to make more sprites. So paint your sprite, go to this one, copy arrow B, control C, go to sprite 2, paste it. So now we make another sprite. And then we go back to arrow one, go down to arrow C, copy this, go to sprite three, paste it. Now you only need to do this three times because the fourth one is already there. So as you can see, we actually have all our four different sizes right here and shapes or, or whatever. Now go back to the, your original arrow and delete the remaining other sprites. Now make sure to rename your arrow. So I'm gonna call this one right because it was going to the right, left because it was going to the left, down because it's going down and up because it is going up now make sure for this I really recommend changing the background to a different color for now so I guess I'm just gonna make mine purple real quick so I can see the squares around the arrows now make sure that none of these are actually you know on each other like this because that will actually make them press other arrows accidentally so as you can see I'm doing a pretty good job here so you can be really precise if you want to, but for the YouTube tutorial, I'm just gonna go really quick. So as you can see, that looks pretty bad, but that's what we have for now. So now you can switch it back to white, and now it looks like there's nothing behind it. Now we have the actual scratch cat right here. All right guys, so now that we have the costumes done, we can move on to the coding. So we are going to make some broadcast signals for this to work. So first let's go on the cat and let's make all the broadcast signals. So if we find the broadcast signal, when I receive, you can make a new one called up, which I did. When I receive down, when I receive right and left. Now since I have all this done, now we just need to add the X and Y for the cat. Go to motion, 
scroll down to change y by change x by make sure it's not set y or x by so change x by so x as you can see is actually going right so i'm going to set this to three for a slow moving cat and then i'm just going to drag another one change x by left negative three now we are going to do the same change y by 10 is moving up so i'm, I'm going to make it three like everything else change y by negative three for going down now that we have those, we need to make the arrows do the right functions. So let's go to the right arrow, events, one green flag clicked, forever, if then, put that in there, drag it on there, grab operators and block, put it inside here, sensing, if touching mouse pointer, put that in one and spot, and mouse down, then broadcast, this is the right arrow, so we go to right. So now let's give it a shot and let's start the project. As you can see, it works just fine. The cat does not stop. So now what you can actually do is just drag this into all the other arrow sprites for a quick and easy way to get the same script into all of them. And we can just change the variables. So that's all we need to do. Change it to, since we're in the left one, left, going to the down sprite, down, going to the up sprite, up. So now let's give it a full test. Make sure also your cat is going to X, Y, zero, Y when you start the project. So I'm going to quickly do that when the green flag is clicked. As you can see, it's working just fine. All of my arrow keys work. My cat resets. You also might want to set some positions for these arrows too. But that's it for making a mobile friendly game. Now let's get to the mobile and see what it looks like. All right, everyone, as you can see, I'm just going to go to Safari on my phone, flip my phone, and now I'm actually loaded into my Scratch webpage, signed into my account. So as you can see, here's my test project right there. Now all I have to do is click on it, and it will load, as you can see. Slide up to remove this and down. Now I just gotta wait for it to load. And I wanna say, while I'm doing this, thank you for 400 followers. I've been set at 300 and 200. Now, as you can see, let's make sure we full screen it before we start the project. So we can see, see inside, full screen, start the project. As you can see, all the arrow keys work when I press them. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.